Hello, Veronica Spriggs here, and today I'm going to be showing you selective coloring in Photoshop. I was asked by one of my viewers on YouTube, how did I achieve the color pop effect on the black and white photograph? So I'm going to show you today how that's done. I'll show you the original image, and here it is. What, it, what originally attracted me to this uh, subject was the red of the helmet and the jacket, and that is what I wanted to really make stand out and portray to the viewers of the photograph. I didn't feel I could exactly do that very well with all the distraction in the background, the blue and the yellow of the bus, the street sign here. So I figured the best way to make that blend in was just to create a black and white photograph. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. Firstly, we're going to start by duplicating this layer. And we're going to turn that off because we're going to come back to that later. Okay, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and we're going to be using the black and white filter. I did another tutorial on black and whites using this filter, so if you want more information on that, you can check it out. And basically, depending on the photo that you're working with, you just want to um, Create a nice black and white photograph for yourself and adjust the sliders accordingly. Basically what I'm trying to do is make the subject stand out as much as possible. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a curves adjustment. and brighten it up a little bit with my levels. Once you're happy with the black and white photograph you've created, you want to go ahead and merge these layers. And now we're going to turn on our original layer and begin to grab our color. And we're going to do that by select color range and you're going to hold down your shift key and click on your original image. Now if you look here you'll see that we've selected the color red but there are a lot of different tones of red in this image so we're going to hold down the shift key and go back in and basically drag the image across our red. Now you can see that you have a much stronger selection. Also in here there's a little bit of, it, it's red but not as, it's a completely different red than the original that we selected so I want to go in and get that out as well. See if there's any here that I missed and I think that we've got it. So I'm going to hit OK and now you can see here zoom in a little that we have our motorcycle and it looks like a really good um, strong selection you've got all the red and it's clean lines around the areas that we don't want the only thing here is that you can see I've got some of the red that's in his skin tone and also of the bricks and the sign here so what I'm going to do is holding down first we're going to go to the lasso selection tool and holding down the alt key you'll see that it turns to a little minus sign there and you want to uh, just select the areas that you want to erase okay now that that's done just give a double check Make sure you don't have any other unwanted areas.
and looks like we're good I'm going to now I see a little tiny speck here that is not selected that I would like to be selected so I'm gonna hold down the shift key and just select that so that now I have all the red area selected zoom out a bit so you can see and I'm going to go to select modify feather and I've set my feather to 2.5 and I do that so that once I make the selection it's going to blend in more smoothly with the um, black and white image and layer via copy and turn off my original layer and if I turn off my um, both layers you can see now exactly that I just have the red area selected from the jacket. If you scroll up a bit, you can see that I also have some unwanted area. And you can just use your selection tool or your eraser brush to get rid of any excess. Okay, now that that's done, I will turn on my black and white layer, and there you have it. You can see that I've recreated the effect, and it's really simple and easy to do. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you again for the next one.